Number 16. Calculate the final speed of a 110 kilogram rugby player who is initially uh, running at 8 meters per second but collides head on with a padded goal post and experiences a backward force of 1.76 times 10 to the 4 newtons for 5.5 times 10 to the minus 2 seconds. Ouch. Well, actually, I mean, he's a rugby player, so he probably didn't even feel it. Uh, but in any case, uh, this problem seems like uh, it has the essence of an impulse problem, right? Uh, why is that the case? Well, he's his speed, right? He's coming in with some initial speed of 8 meters per second. He's going to then... Uh, have some final speed it's asking us to calculate that and they tell us the force that's applied and the time so i'm thinking about hmm this formula sounds like it's pretty nice it's going to fit the bill very nicely right so it says that the impulse or aka change in momentum will equal the force applied multiplied by the time in which that force is applied so i can expand this change in momentum right to be uh, basically the mass multiplied by the final velocity minus the initial velocity okay and that's equal to, again, force times time. Now, if I'm thinking about what I need to find, final speed, that means I need to find the VF in this problem. So let's do some algebra, right? Divide out the mass from both sides. Now we have the final velocity minus the initial velocity is equal to FT over M. And now add the initial velocity on over to the right-hand side. And we realize we get the final velocity being equal to the force exerted multiplied by the time over which that force exerted divided by the mass of the particular object experiencing that force, plus then the initial velocity of that uh, object experiencing the force. So here's the formula. All we need to know are these uh, four variables, force, time, mass, and initial velocity. Remember though, they can't be any force or any time or any mass or any velocity. They have to be the force applied to change the momentum of an object, the time over which that force is acting, the mass of the object experiencing the change in momentum, and the initial velocity of that object experiencing that change in momentum, okay? So we do know all three. It was told to us in the problem. So basically, let's just plug it all in. So the final velocity here is equal to the force applied. Now, they said a backward force, so I'm going to assume that that's negative, okay? Because it's, why? Because it's pointing, I guess, ba meaning backward I'm taking to the left-hand side or the negative x direction. So I'm going to plug that in as negative uh, 1.76 times 10 to the 4, then the time over which that force is acting, it told us 5.5, right? 5.50 times 10 to the minus 2 seconds, divided by then the mass of the object experiencing the change in momentum. It told us that the mass is 110 kilograms. That's great. Plus then the initial velocity. So now it says that the rugby player is initially running at 8 meters per second. Right now, here's the thing. Right? If you plug in, it, the sign is extremely important here. So you have to know the concept behind this question. Basically, you have a rugby player here. And I'm assuming he's running in the right-handed direction. Why? Because you're going to hit this squiggly goalpost. And the goalpost, it said, was going to exert a backward force on him, which should make sense, right? If the rugby player comes in with that initial uh, speed, the goalpost is going to exert a force backward on him to oppose the motion. Okay? So... Since they told me it was backward, and I'm taking backward to mean to the left, I know that this initial velocity must be pointing to the right. Okay? So, cool. So in any case, uh, this now is positive. All right? So it's plus a positive 8 meters per second. And now we can simply calculate. All right? And the reason why it'll make a difference, if you notice, because this value over here will be negative. Right? And this is positive. So therefore, you're essentially taking the difference between the two, whereas if I plug this in as a negative value, then you're going to be adding them essentially because the signs are the same, right? So, or I mean, technically you're subtracting something from a negative number, but you know what I'm saying, right? Same sign, you basically add them, keep the sign. So 1.76, and let me plug in the negative there, negative 1.76 times 10 to the fourth, oops, times 10 to the fourth, uh, times 5.5 times 10 to the minus two, divided by 110, and then plus 8 meters per second. And this comes out to be negative 0.8. Now that should make sense, okay? Negative 0.8 meters per second. Now why does that make sense? Well, think about it. Oops, after he hits the post, right? I mean, he might, if, if the post doesn't move, if the post isn't going backwards, then 
he's probably his his uh, final velocity should be pointing that away, right? And that's basically what the sign tells us that it's negative. Now, in terms of your answer, um, you know what is the final answer? Should I plug in the negative or not? If you write down how you frame the problem, I guess leave the negative sign. But we don't necessarily need it uh, because the negative sign will just tell us that the direction. And the direction is totally dependent upon how you frame the problem here. I could have easily taken it and just done the, basically the mirror image of it, right? The enantiomer for all you organic chemistry people out there. Um, it's going to now point to the, uh, his, his velocity, initial velocity will point to the left being negative, And now the backward force is going to be pointing to the right. All right, so that should have been positive. So we would have gotten the same magnitude, but just a different sign. All right, so I'm actually just going to erase the sign right there, just because I'm going to give the absolute value. But, you know, just be cognizant of that fact. Okay, so that concludes this problem. Thank you so very much for joining me. Appreciate it very much. I love it if you can hit that subscribe button. If this video helped you out at all, hit the like button too. Why not? All right, have a great day. Look forward to helping you with the next question. Take care.